Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding currently that matters that I host. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to talk about the top five ways to get banned for life from Vail Resorts. I've done it twice. Number five, just be a dirtbag looking rider. They really like to go after snowboarders that look like dirt bags. Look the part of a dirt bag snowboarder, I guarantee you they will try to bust your balls. They will. You don't fit their Disney family friendly image that they're trying to do. Trust me. They want your money. They just don't want you to look that way. Number four, work for them and get fired. And I don't mean like you were a shitty employee and got fired. I mean, you went down in an epic blaze of glory doing something stupid. You will get your ass on the band for life train. Trust me, that ticket is yours, but you chose to work for that evil corporation. And believe me, they'll tell you all about their epic promises and epic guarantees and how they care about their employees. They don't give a fuck about you. You are expendable and when they fire you, who cares if they put you on a no rehire list? Who cares if they hot flash your pass and say you can never ride there again? Hopefully you got a good alias like Blobby. Hopefully you got a good alias like Bobby Blumkin or Cliff Drop. Number three, steal someone's season's pass and get caught using it. I mean, I'm just saying if you're like five foot ten and a different ethnicity, you probably shouldn't steal your friend who's like a four foot six Filipino's season pass and try to pass you off as them. That's not good. Stealing's bad. Stealing's bad. You can also get charged with like felony theft depending on the price of the pass and whatnot. So you better better watch yourself. It's a great way to get yourself banned for life. And plus you can also screw over the person whose pass you took. That's that's kind of shitty. I and mean, if you're gonna take someone's pass, make sure they're in on the scheme. And they're cool with it. And don't get fucking caught! Believe me, I know a lot of people that use other people's passes to get on the mountain. But still, don't blatantly steal. It's shitty. Thieves suck. Number two, spray mountain safety and get caught. I mean, if you're going to spray them, don't get caught. And for all those European people that are like, what the hell's mountain safety? Think of it as mall cops on the slopes. These are guys that aren't good enough to be ski patrol. Hell, they're not even good enough to be a lifty, food service, ticket scanner. Shit, they're not even eligible to like give out boots in the rental shop. These are the most bottom of the barrel people that end up being out there telling you, who's probably like me, ridden forever, that you're going too fast and you're too out of control. That's who these people are. So if you're gonna spray these dumb fucks, don't get caught. They got a little mobile app. They can turn your pass off like that. And if you do get caught, don't give them your pass. Just ride to the edge of the property and walk off. Just do it. That's what I do, or did. I don't really deal with these fucks anymore because I'm banned for life from Vail Resorts. So, who really cares? Honorable mentions! Mostly uh, good options, but just barely didn't make it on this list. Get caught ducking a rope and get fined. You're also going to get banned for life. Those ropes, they're, they take those things really seriously. The rule of ducking ropes, know where you're going, know the risks, and know how not to get caught when you're coming back in. Be smart with your choices and don't brag about it. Make a video of you and your friends jibbing the ski patrol sleds at Keystone. I'm not saying I did, but I do know a few people that have done this and they got banned for life. Shout out to Thrift Boards. They're not the official sponsor of this episode, but if you need vintage gear, check out at Thrift Boards on Instagram. And the final honorable mention, it's not really even honorable because it comes from a pudgy piece of shit that doesn't know how to snowboard, but Ride on a weekend while making a vlog and then cry that you went through a family fun zone a little too fast and they told you to slow down and make a big deal out of it. You fucking pickle dick. Who gives a shit? You fucking tried to hit a side hit on the flattest run at Keystone and you got fucking yelled at for doing it on a fucking holiday weekend. You want to cry about it. You weren't even good enough to get banned for life. At least when I did it, I got banned for life. I went out in epic fashion, you fucking pathetic piece of shit. And the number one way to get yourself banned for life from Vail Resorts, suplex a skier in the lift line. I mean, you do it once and you're the asshole? Seriously. He had it coming. I did it. whoop de fucking do Shouldn't have hit me from behind, asshole. I'll do it again if I have to. That's right. 
I got banned for life for suplexing a fucking skier in the lift line. Full blown, over my shoulder, German suplex. And I choked his ass out. And I get banned for life? That motherfucker hit me from behind. I was pissing blood for two weeks. Fucking destroyed my kidney. Fuck him. This has been my top five ways to get banned for life from Vail Resorts. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I miss one? Have you done one of these ones on this list? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation. Anyways, if you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not going to miss any of these videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and well, if Vail Resorts asks, my name is now Bomb Hole. And I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.